Hey everybody, Becky Cohen, your platinum leader and trainer here. We are going to start with your new agent orientation part two, and that is going through our travel cafe. So I have my screen shared, forgive me. Um, and we're going to go to our back office. Obviously, we're going to just get started in our back office. You're going to sign in. You have your agent ID and your password. Hopefully you have those written down, right? And or memorized already. So we're going to go in. Here is our back office with all this great stuff um, going on, right? We're going to come to the left-hand side and you guys are going to go to the travel cafe, okay? We're going into the travel cafe, which is underneath your travel website on this left-hand side. We're going to enter into the travel cafe. I like to call the travel cafe our working back office because everything here changes, either can be changed daily, um, maybe on a weekly. So make sure that you are coming inside of here and seeing everything that's going on on this dashboard. Lots of raffles, lots of giveaways. Um, Ron talks about a lot of stuff here for us. Yeah, get your CLIA card right now, utilize it for um, all the perks and benefits that you get through that, as well as everything else that is here. Look, now they also have a printable, uh, the client travel needs checklist for you here. Okay, so again, a very, very useful area, the dashboard of your travel cafe, right? Another thing is, is there's all kinds of things over here on this left-hand side bar. Um, we're going to go into, I'm going to skip over a couple. And, and again, you guys, once you get through this onboarding process, the, our main concern is to get you registered with your vendors so you get them coming back so that you can start marketing your business, if that makes sense, correct? You guys, I know you want to get out there and start booking travel, but first things first, and that's having the vendors to book, right, to utilize. So again, you can come back in here and go through all of these um, in your spare time, this is your business. So again, do this at your leisure whenever. I'm just going to get you started with what you need. You can be able to come into this training travel marketing tab, all kinds of great videos here for you guys to share and um, all kinds of the playlist uh, over and over again, just some great things for you to be utilizing. All right. Some of them are in Spanish as well. Next over here, a very, very important thing that you guys need to know where to access this at and um, know the understanding is this within 21 days of travel bookings. So again, it is in English and in Spanish. You need to understand that if you are booking something from today in, from today in between the 21 days out, past 21 days, we don't care. All right, we don't care. Um, but in between today and 21 days out from today's date, you have to follow this flow chart. So in other words, this flow chart tells you which are the preferred vendors. And if you're utilizing one of these preferred vendors that have the asterisk by them, then you have to follow the flow chart and you have to do exactly what this little circle area tells you to do. You have to go through the 21 day booking at archertravel.com and the archer will make the booking for you. Now, if you choose to use an unpreferred, a non-preferred vendor, great, you can. And you do not have to follow the flow chart to the yes. So make sure that you come in here and understand what this says. Here is more examples. It's all good information. Again, it is in Spanish. It tells you everything that you need to know, all right? More about our suppliers and so on and so forth, okay? So again, you guys need to understand that if you are booking something like through Vax, through FunJet, that yes, that is a preferred vendor and you are gonna have to utilize Archer and let them do the booking through for you if it's within 21 days. All right, awesome. So now your code of contact, your commissions, um, conduct, um, you know, travel, uh, this is your, you know, insurance, the policy, your travel protection plus, all kinds of great things here. We, um, there is an Evo shop. Again, great things here, you guys. You can come in here and find stuff 
I actually, you can get videos, personalized videos, personalized marketing flyers and apparel. Sometimes they have great sales going on. I did, I did do that myself. Um, forms, you guys, uh, along with the forms and the information being here, I also have videos in our community for these to walk you through each every step, the commission tracking form, as well as the credit card authorization form. But here is where you find those is under forms, right? Group bookings, if you need to do group bookings, I highly suggest that you call Jose at Archer and have him help you if it is a hotel. Um, first and foremost, reach out to your travel trainer. And then if they're unsure, reach out to me and then you call Archer, okay? We are gonna start right here at suppliers, all right? So when you guys find the suppliers tab, and I want you to know that you're gonna stop and start this video as we work through this, okay? Because there's gonna be some, some work that you're gonna do right here and now through the video. So we're gonna come in here to the suppliers into the center one, oh my goodness, supplier request form. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna open up and here it is, the supplier request form. It tells us, that you know what, those eight videos to be certified through Archer has to have the completion. You have to have that. It can take up to four business days to process a request. Do not duplicate the request, right? Um, some of them can take up past the four days, four to seven, depending on the day that you're registering. So understand that again, Saturday and Sundays don't count. Uh, here's where it says, do not ever duplicate it. This will just hamper the process, right? And then fill out the um, information accurately. So again, if it's not filled out the correct way, um, then of course it will kick it back. Now you need to check this box. Now that you've agreed to what it says right here, you understand the instructions. Next thing you are gonna do, you guys, hopefully, and again, you know what? I, I was just always trying to help you from the get-go upon registration so that you don't have all of this information going to your personal email. We had asked you to open up a separate email. If you have not done that, um, then all of your supplier and everything else is gonna come to your personal email, which is fine if that's what you want. That's all okay, it's totally up to you. I choose to have a separate email for everything. But in order to get going with the suppliers, you need to have the email that you're using on file right now. So if you did not change that um, through the new agent orientation part one, where I share with you that you had to go to the blue chat and ask Tina to change that email for you, um, I suggest that you just stop this video if you want a different email for your vendors. Stop this and, and go back out and request get a new email, tell her what your old one is that is connected to your account, and then ask her to change it to the new one and supply her with both emails, okay? But it's totally up to you, like I said, whichever um, you feel fit. So I have autofill, yay, yay. So I'm gonna autofill this and then you're gonna enter in your agent ID. You guys know that up here in the top, um, right-hand corner of your travel cafe is your agent ID. So you don't have to go out and look for this. They make it handy dandy for you. So here's mine, 72565, correct? That's my agent ID. I would put it in here. Um, and then we're gonna come down to where it says, please select one supplier. We are doing one at a time on this form. So you're gonna select VAX. That is the most important supplier that you could possibly have. And this will take... Um, up to about seven or more days to come back. Hopefully it comes back sooner than that. This is the one that we're gonna say is going to be your go-to. So you would click that box, right? We're gonna click that box. And now you're gonna come down to the bottom where you're gonna click single checkbox. Yes, everything is inputted correctly. You only did one and then you're gonna submit. Now it's gonna spin through, it's processed and it's gonna come kick you back up to a um, empty page again, where again, you're going to have to click the box, you're going to pre-fill or fill in all of your information, you are going to come down and you're going to 
click on one source for Princess Cruise. All right. Again, you're going to come down, click the single checkbox, submit. All right. Again, we're going to do this over again. We're going to do it a couple more times. You're going to click that box, make sure there's a checkbox. You're going to input all of your information, double checking that everything is correct. Now you're coming to Norwegian in CL. You're clicking that box, bubble, whatever you want to call it, right? Check this single box and you're good to go. Submit. One more time, you guys. Yay. Check the box. Fill it in. MSC is your last one. Okay. Come down, click this submit. Yay, we did that. Because if you see what it says here, it says World Agent Direct is Delta Vacations. You have to be in the program for two months. So we don't need that one right now. Sandals, you have to be an agent for six months in the program. So we're not going to do that one right now as well. Um, other, we don't do those because we're going to get our others on how to register with suppliers. We're going to do that now. So you're going to have to stop the video now and complete your um, forms, your supplier request forms, right? Welcome back. Here we are. Now we're going to go back over to the left side, you guys. Suppliers, again, we're going to hit the one where it says how to register. I'm going to give you a lot of information. You guys are going to click on that. Listen to me. Maybe you want to... Um, Listen to the whole thing and then start me back right here. That's totally fine as well, because I am just going to go over a lot of things here. I try not to go too fast because I know I talk fast. Agent Universe. It's a, it's a portal with a lot of information. I'm not going to tell you that you need to register, register for it right now. But yes, in the next few weeks of you being an agent, you will want to come in here and register. And when you do, it'll ask you for our consortia. Our consortia is, says it right here, is travel leaders. You can see it right in there. Travel, travel leaders, okay? That's our consortia. Travel leaders network, right? So put that on your list to come back for. AMA, waterways, I don't have those. American Airlines. Yes, you're going to come in here and you are going to register with American Airlines. We're going to do that. Here's, here's how much they pay, their commissions, two to, two to, or two, 12 to 16% commissions, okay? I actually haven't done this one because they just left VAX and came here. We're going to come down below this big blue rectangle box. We're not going to click here where it says. We're coming down to where it says in red how to register. It says self-register at aavacations.com forward slash agent. That's a hyperlink, you guys. Let's see what it does. I'm going to click on it and see what it does. Some of these, when we click on them, it populates right here in the Travel Cafe. Other ones will kick you out a new tab. So we're going to see what um, uh, American Vacations does. And it's going to populate in our page. So that's fine. So I'm actually going to go back one. And it says we're going to also right here in this area, it usually gives us information for the instructions. Please contact us at AA for any questions on the registration. So it says um, request form to gain access to our reservation system. We will notify each agent via email once registration is complete. So now, because I know it's going to pop me out of here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this, copy this link. I'm going to open up a browser and I'm just going to pop this link into the browser. Okay. That way I don't have to go and lose my travel cafe. Uh-oh, how come it's not going? Because we're not on the right page. Oh my goodness, it didn't go there. I don't know why it like took that. Da -da -da. Let's try it again. Here it is. 
sorry, you guys. All right, so now let's read. What does it say? Welcome to AA Vacations, American Airlines. Oh, this is our travel agent site. This website is our booking portal built exclusively for you, our professional travel agent partners. Here you can shop with ease while creating memorable vacations for your clients. Here as you go. This is a secure site accessible only to registered travel agents. So um, that is our, our login. So that would be if we were already logged in or had an account, right? So we need to create, we're not creating, we're not registering an agency, all right? We're not, we're creating a personal login. If your travel agency is already registered, which we know Archer Travel is, all right? Um, then, or if you receive notification that you have been approved, then you need to create your own personal travel website login here. So this is where we go. We do not come here. We do not do register your agency because we are not the agency. We are just um, uh, working through the host agency, right? So you guys are going to fill this in. If you've previously created an agent profile, you need to, or you need, and you need to update. Um, please contact them there. So again, if you wanted to change your email address, if you didn't change it already, then you could contact them there. So here's what you need to have. You need to have agency IATA. We're going to find it. We're going to put it in. What is ours? You guys should have that on a little piece of paper next to you, right? And then your first and your last name, your country of residence. This does not have an asterisk by it. You do not have to fill that one in. Username. So you're creating your, is your email address is what they're telling you. Is your username, re-enter it. Create a password, re-enter it. Um, subscribe to the promos. Well, of course, yes. Um, to par participate in Travel Advisor Rewards Program, choose an option. Um, and sure, why not? I guess I would. And then, of course, we had to click on the, that. And then you're going to click um, Accept. Okay? All right. And then that's it. So you guys should know, you should have that piece of paper that has that IATA number on it, right? Um, now we're going to go back to the travel cafe. I'm going to go back into um, my back office. You guys should have this document right here, the Archer Supplier Credentials, with the information that we need to utilize today. Here's that number that they were asking for, okay? You guys need to print that out and have that handy for all of your registration. If you need to stop me now and do that or write it down, that's what you'll need. Awesome. All right, let's go back. Here I am. I'm back here at American Airlines Vacations. And I'm just going to hit the back button because I had opened up a separate tab for American Airlines, which I can X out of. But I'm going to hit my back arrow to go back to our, I call it the bulk page for registrations, right? Now, Apple Leisure Vacation and all of this is inside of VAX. And that's why we did that first on that supplier request form. So we're not registering for this. I am not telling you that you need to get Archer Go. You can, Archer Go is an app that you can download. Okay, you can have that on your phone. Barcelo Pro. Um, if you want to read about any of these and where they offer their services to book through, it tells you that, you guys, right here. So if you think that you're going to be utilizing um, or have the need for things in Spain and all these other countries that they offer to, then, of course, you're going to come in. You're going to follow the direction that it says here on how to register and register for these vendors. 
Um, this is not one that I have. I'm going to hit the back arrow again, go out to the page, right? Feds online, I don't necessarily use, but again, if you wanted to see what they're about, you could, okay? Blue Sky Tours is inside Vax. And yes, we are going to get registered with Carnival. So here we are in going into the continued reading of Carnival. And here's the supplier um, commission information up to 16% plus exclusive travel agent rates. Carnival is awesome, you guys. Below the big blue box is how to register. Now, this one tells us specific instructions. Make sure you are reading these specific instructions. Again, I highly suggest you just copy this link, okay? We take it out, we put it in uh, the browser, we click on it, and I don't know why it keeps on taking me to Facebook every time I do that. That's kind of weird. Pasting it again. Let's see if it'll go. There it goes. All right. So now what I want you guys to do, if you opened up a separate window, we're coming back to the travel cafe. It says, please fill in these fields as follows. Your first name is your agent ID number, you guys. You need to hear this. It's your agent ID number for your first name. So your title, Ms. Your first name is your agent ID number. Mine is 725, right? 72565, right? That's, that's me. That's how they recognize me. Then, of course, yes, you put in your last name, your date of birth. Your, um, you are the travel agent. So it's your phone number. This is your email. And now your agency name. Your agency name is right here, Archer Travel. And you see here where it says email you use to sign up um, to the Evo program or whatever is on file at this point, right? Okay. <clears throat> Archer Travel, the agency phone number is that phone number. It is the cruise line phone number on that piece of paper on your a supplier credential documents. There it is. And your access level is agent. And now you will get um, pretty much an email and it may say that they are waiting for confirmation from your um, agency. That is like a generic letter that comes out. So don't freak out about that, right? Just wait until they contact you back and, and giving you your access, okay? So again, your access level is agent, okay? Then you're gonna click and create your account. Easy peasy stuff. Now, again, I clicked out of that tab. I'm back here in Carnival. I'm gonna go on my back arrow and there was Carnival in the big bulk. Celebrity Cruise is inside of one of those other ones that we did with um, our, whatever you call it, supplier request form. Classic Vacations, I suggest you enroll for. They used to do um, a lot of VRBOs, but um, so it's good to have them as another go-to. And again, you'd click this link or copy it your industry is our, the IATA. You can see it right there. Must be entered without spaces. Your user ID is the email address you used, telling you these, they, they have specific instructions, okay? So your user ID is the email, all right, that you used when you created your account or what is on file now. If Tina's changed it, that's what's on file now. Your password must be a minimum of 10 characters. It must also contain at least one uppercase, lowercase, a number, and a symbol. Right. Okay. So that's how you're going to register into Classic Vacations. 
Um, it populates in our page here, but here it is. Everything that it's asking you to do, your city, your location. Um, you've entered, when did you enter the travel industry? Um, it doesn't have 2023 or 2021. So you're gonna select 20 or 2022. You're gonna select 2021 role. You are an independent contractor. And then of course your month, right? Um, here's that password, it must contain all of those and then you're creating your account, okay? Again, that's pretty simple to follow their instruction, right? Sign up, this is your ID. So that is that email, remember? And then you're creating a password and then you're confirming your password. All right. So I'm gonna hit the back arrow to take me back to Classic Vacations. There we are. I'm gonna hit the back arrow again to take me out to the bulk page. Ready? I know you guys probably stopped and started me again. Clea, this is where you're gonna get that Clea card. If you want to, um, again, I would write this one down. If you wanna get that, this is a fee. I think it's, we get a $50 discount because we are platinum members of this. Um, but this is good to have. It gives you all kinds of different discounts in some ways and another. Uh, costs you $69. And this is not something that you have to do right now. Okay, so just come in here and read about it. Club Med, I don't have. Contiki, I do not have. Cruising Power, yes, you're going to get registered with Cruising Power. Cruising Power um, is um, Royal Caribbean, Silver Sea, Celebrity, and as Mario. Right. And again, we're coming down and reading all of our information. We're going to self register here. Uh, choose agent registration, new agent. Then it's the cruise line phone number. Username is your ID with two zeros in front of your agent ID. So mine would be 00725655. Select yes if you are home base. I know this one actually gives you a little bit of difficulty. It like will kick you back out of that and it'll say it, it won't, it doesn't work. So just understand that um, there that is a glitch. I don't know why it keeps on doing that. That's kind of weird. So understand that that's just a glitch. Oh, and it just like, okay, so. I am going to create an account, right? Register for Cruising Power. We're not a new agency. You're registering, agent registration, okay? So it's gonna select your language. We do in English. Um, what is your agency phone number? That is that one that I just told you, 818-248-9141 right? And then you're going to find your agency. It'll, it'll show up Archer and you're going to click on it. And then you're going to follow the rest of the um, registration. Okay. Remember it may kick you out at home base. What does it say here? Mm -mm -mm. Home base. If, if it's, if it does not go through with yes, just no is okay. All right. All right. So we're going to hit the back button from Cruising Power. Welcome back. And now Delta, we cannot have until you are an agent for two months. We're going to go, yes, register with Disney. You're going to get access to Disney right now today. You're going to go in here, travelagent.com. It's very, it, it's very, very simple. I'm gonna just click into that and then hit back arrow. So you guys are here for the first time. I could sign in and here's how you would create your account. Again, it's very, very simple. You're gonna input that um, email that you have. You're gonna create a password. You're gonna hit show. Well, you don't have to hit show passwords. Yes, you agree. And of course you want all of their promotion news and updates and then create. And then I believe it takes you again to another page to where you have to put in the IATA number, okay? So just know that because obviously I have an account 
But then once you have finished the completion of that, you will just be able to sign in. You have access to Disney. Yay. Let's hit the back arrow. Here we are again. Disney. I'm hitting the back arrow again. And downtown travel. Um, some people like downtown travel. Downtown travel uh, does have um, commissions on flights. When you do flights through those, although they ask you for banking information, and I choose not to give them, you know, give out all that. I don't um, utilize, uh, but a lot of big bookers, they do utilize downtown travel. Um, but they do uh, their things differently. So that's totally up to you. If you want to look into it, you can. Expedia tab is going to be our next one that you're going to register with. Understand Expedia tab is one of those that is not a preferred vendor. We do only earn 50% of the commissions is paid out from the total commissions. Okay. Commissions vary and they vary from two to 12%, all right? So understand that um, utilizing Expedia tap is not necessarily going to be your go-to, but if you have somebody that needs a hotel room tonight, then yes, you're gonna use Expedia tap. Personally, I use Expedia tap for my own personal because I don't book out far enough, right? So that's just me. If you have a choice, you're going to look into something before you utilize Expedia Tap. Um, but yes, there will be times that you use Expedia Tap. So you're going to click here, Expedia Tap. We're going below the big blue block, down to how to register. And um, registering for Expedia Tap is simple. You're just going to put in your first and last name, your email address, and create a password and done deal. Create. Okay. I'm going back out and I'm starting over. Funjet is inside of VAX. I do not have gate one travel. Yes, we are going to register for golden tickets. If you guys couldn't tell, these are all in alphabetical order. So if you get lost, that's where to come back and find them. They are in alphabetical order. Golden tickets is just that is where you can find tickets. Golden Tickets um, is a vendor that has an affiliate link for you to be able to utilize to share with your clients. A uh, suggestion here, I always forget to tell you this straight off, but now that you're registering with vendors, make sure that you go into that email, whatever it is, and you have created, let me go, okay, so into my inbox, um, you create, like if you wanted to move something, Obviously, you can go come and create a, a, a folder that says vendors. Um, and when I'm saying a folder that says vendors, I only mean that we are creating this for these vendor registration and then the acceptance of them. I don't mean that you're going to put everything from Disney in this vendor folder. No, 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 because you're going to have tons of that stuff, right? This is just strictly for your vendor stuff. Like, okay, Travel Uni, I registered. Congratulations, right? Um, Rue, yay. Fax, login, yay. All that kind of stuff, okay? All that kind of stuff is just the special stuff here for the vendors. So that, that way, you know when that you registered with your vendors, if you did register with that one, what you used, maybe you want to use maybe even OneNote to follow that, and you can. OneNote is another area that is very um, a good form of, you know, whatever you want to use to track everything. You could have um, emails, whatever you want. You can follow up, whatever it is. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can keep track of your vendor logins, passwords, so on and so forth, right? So we're back here in the Travel Cafe at Golden Tickets. Again, we're going to follow the um, self-register now. And here's what it's telling us that we need to be using our host agency, travel Archer Travel Service, their website, archertravel.com, their IATA number, and then my Evo ID, your Evo ID. 
So we're going to click into that and it populates in the Travel Cafe tab. And you're going to sign up, right? And it's going to um, give you the link when you sign up. So make sure that you save that email, like I said. So you're going to sign up. And of course, your email address, your first, your last name, your phone number. The host agency was Archer Travel. The host agency website was archertravel.com, the IATA number, and your agent ID, right? These are kind of easy, you guys. Now I'm going to hit the back arrow again. Takes us back to the big page of golden tickets. Mm -mm -mm. And we're not getting the back arrow on that one. So I'm going back. Populated a second page. All right. So Insight Vacations, again, you can come in here and read about this. If, you, if it's something that you want, you can come in and get it. MSC, we already have. It's through one of the supplier request forms. Norwegian, we already did as well. Um, Princess, we already did as well. We're not going to do any of those cruise lines. We already got them. Pleasant Holidays, yes, it's going to be another go-to like Vax if you want to um, do your apples to apples research for vacation packages, okay? We don't know what the commissions are, but you're going to come down. You're going to register um, after your 30 days. So, oops, I always forget that one. Um, you are eligible, eligible for access 30 days after your enrollment. So again, you can write that one down on your list so that you can come in and register for it then. Okay. Let's go back, hit the back arrow from Pleasant Holidays. We're at Profit Agility. Um, we're going to do Profit Agility from the outside. Room res. I believe I always get prompted to room res, but is Archer Travel agents earn 11% off a of room res. So Archer Travel, it says all new agents will receive an activation email. Just like I said, I, I get an email all the time. For some reason, they think I'm a new agent every week, but you will receive that one week after that you become an agent. So be on the lookout for an email coming from room res. Okay, let's hit the back arrow. Um, Royal Caribbean was cruising power. Sandals, we can't have until we're six, six uh, months. G Adventures, I'm, I don't have that. So again, something that you can come in and look at. 10 leg is, I do have this. This is a separate uh, um, insurance protection to be able to offer your clients, which you get a flat 17% commission. So I have not used it, but again, if you wanted to get that, you can right now, it's not necessary. Trafogler, I do have Trafogler, but right now, if you don't have people that want, you know, like uh, I say Israel tours or something to that effect, it's not necessary right now, okay? Uh, Unicruz. I do not have Unicruise, so again, you can come in here uh, and read more about it. Um, Universal is inside of VAX. Vacation Express, I do have Vacation Express as well. Um, I don't know if you want to, like I said, it's just totally up to you guys. Um, again, this is not a preferred vendor, but I do know that uh, Vacation Express, they do offer a lot of the FAM trips. So if you wanted to get registered with them, just make sure that you are following all of C. There's our consortia, travel leaders. And then of course, all of the information that they want in there, okay? So it's totally up to you. If you wanna come back in and get Vacation Express, we did VAX, <clears throat> Viator. Very important for you guys to have Viator. This is your excursions. This is everything that we talk about in presentation about in my presentation, I tell you about how you can just punch in the one city and it brings up everything for us. So, um, this is uh, up to 10%. Sometimes they run specials that we actually earn more. All right. How to register. Again, <clears throat> it tells you the information right here to use. You guys, this is not a copy and paste. It won't take it. So write this down. It is P as in Paul 00006875. That's the host agency code. 
So normally it's that IATA number, this time it is not. So when you come to into IATA, I can't even get in here, okay? Because it just takes me to my site, right? It takes me directly into my site. So follow that information. See it already, I'm already in here, right? Um, I could log out and then we could create one. And then what's it asking us to put in your email? So again, I can't even show you how to follow through with this because I don't have a different email to put in. So um, you guys just follow the information that it tells you to follow in these things. I can't ex it, you know, express that enough. Let me go back and back and back a whole bunch of times. Here we go, where it says you cannot copy and paste it, all right? So you're gonna go in there, please type in the host agency number, code is the P as in Paul, 00006875, all right? And then everything else, whatever it's asking you. Viator is just an awesome, awesome thing. Um, shareable links that you can just give your client. Okay, we're going to hit the back arrow. I'm going to go back out. Our last one is Virgin Voyages. This one gets a little confusing as well. Yes, you want Virgin Voyages. We're going to click continue. Again, it is 16% um, commissions. And here's their group booking amount. And here we go down below the blue block um, underneath how to register in red where it says self-register at firstmates.com. You guys read this. What is it telling us? It says to click, become a first mate, click, start registration, enter your personal details. When asked, use the main agency phone number is the cruise line phone number, the 9141 from Archer. Okay. When submitted, Archer either will approve or decline. Once approved, you will get an email from Virgin Voyages. So let's go into it. I know it pops us out a separate tab. It said, sounds good to me. Here we are, cookies. Okay, accept your cookies. It said, become a first mate. Right? Um, it said, become a first mate. It's already... Uh, linked to register an agency. No, that's not what we're doing. We are becoming a first mate. Make sure you click on this box to see it show green in the little bubble, right? Green. Start registration. Here we go. We're going to start our registration five to 10 minutes. Make sure that you're following through. I can only go so far with you guys. Where do you work, you guys? I work at home right? That's where I work. That's where you work. We work at home. Next, your personal details. I'm a Ms. Um, my first, you don't have to put your middle, your last, what is your role? I'm the CEO of my, my business. I'm the owner CEO, right? That's what I, then I, then I click and then I hit next. I could probably do this and go. What is my role? Okay. Then we're going to hit next. And now you're going to hit all of your main agency phone number. We use this to check if your agency is already registered. So that's that 818-248-9141. So you're going to put in that one, the Archer Cruise Line phone number in here. Then it, the secondary phone number is you. Yes, make that your preferred, that's you. Put in your email, you can contact me by whatever you want and then hit next, okay? <laughs> Good to go. And then just continue, com continue on whatever it else has you do. So that was kind of um, easy to do the registrations, I think. That's our little walkthrough of registrations um, through the suppliers that we have right there. I'm going all the way back out, you guys. I'm just hitting my back arrow. I don't need to, but I am just going to come back to the dashboard here in the Travel Cafe, just so you know. You can do that. You can just come over to the left-hand side and hit home. So it populates all that great stuff on your dashboard. This is your home dashboard. 
Um, remember, we're on the left-hand side tabs. We're going to go down now below the supplier tab. That's where we were. Okay. We're going to come into profit agility. Inside profit agility, this is an awesome, awesome uh, vendor, supplier that we get to use. And they offer us live trainings almost every two weeks. So be looking on the lookout in our community on the daily schedule for those and in your email, all right? Um, understand that there are several factors that come into play when you are using Profit Agility. They have many restrictions, but it is an awesome tool to utilize. So you're gonna register for Profit Agility by going here, you see, I just, I went into the tab on the left-hand side, it's underneath suppliers where it says my profit agility resort weeks and condos. I clicked on that and here is the page. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click on the box, the hyperlink box, and here is our code. And again, you cannot copy and paste this code in here. So this is the code that you're going to need. I want you to write that down right now, dollar sign, Capital T, travel, 2019, dollar sign. Okay, now we're gonna enter in to Profit Agility. Um, it's gonna have a welcome. You, you haven't registered yet, so you're not filling this in. You're coming down here to where it says, I do not have an account. Click here to register. Now you're putting in that access code. Again, I've already done it a hundred times, right? Showing you guys. So it's already there for me. So here's where you're gonna type in the dollar sign travel with a capital T 2019 dollar sign, okay? And then you're gonna hit next. And now you're gonna fill out all of this information, your agent ID on so on and so forth, create your password. Um, I hope you guys have been writing this password down. If you're using the same one, all right. But if you're using different ones, make sure that you're writing this down. So you are stopping my video and keeping track of all of this. This is very important because I don't have any way to help you retrieve it. And then you have to go through, like I hate to have to go through myself on anything, um, having to forgot password and then sending you an email or whatever the case may be, right? That's just a pain in the butt for all of us. So then you're going to hit next. I didn't fill anything out, so it's not going to work for me. But then it's going to have you sign in. And then you're going to be signed into Profit Agility. Again, there's a lot of information here. I'm not going to run through Profit Agility. Like I said, they have trainings for this. But this is a great, great tool to be utilizing most First and foremost is your um, advertising restrictions that you guys need to be aware of, as well as everything else here. But they do have trainings on this, just sharing all of the inf great information about what Profit Agility has to offer. Okay. So that being said, let's go back. We're going to go back. I'm going to show you a couple more things in the Travel Cafe. I went all the way back out. I did my arrows all the way back out. And below Profit Agility is your media library. That's where you're going to find all the business card information, all the requirements that you must have on your business, business card if you choose to have business cards, business cards printed. We do have live trainings for a digital e-card business card. Um, that you can get that's free okay so your business name because again remember you guys you are creating a company for yourself you want to be um, branding yourself you have to have the archer logo you have to have all of this other stuff on here so two for two through six has to be on here on your business card okay here's some templates that you can use, you can download these, you can cut these out. But my suggestion, again, this is me, totally up to you. I choose not to promote Archer and Evolution because I want to be promoting myself away from home travels, right? 
Again, you can see all the stuff that is on there, all the registration stuff, the Archer logo, right? They are here for you to use. I copy, I have copied and dragged this off onto my desktop and I have it in um, my Canva. I have ordered business cards through Canva. You can click on whichever one. You could have this one if you want it, but remember it only has to be Archer, okay? So, and it does, like I said, has to be, has to be two through six, six have to be on that business card. Doesn't have to be huge, has to be on there though. Now, um, again, in our media library, there is on below the business requirements is images, logos, and flyers. More, more of the logos. This is where it tells us about where we can get images from and about social media. So again, it tells us not to use images from Google. Make sure you remember where this is. Again, I do have these posted in our community for you under informational media. All right. So again, more free video links for you guys to use. Yay, yay, yay. All kinds of great stuff. More business card information. Okay. Same stuff that we were just at. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, had to take a drink. I was having a scratchy through. Now, um, again, our resources, you guys, there's all kinds of great things outside um, certification courses, our travel alerts and information. If you needed to know anything about, right, the CDC, um, whatever we've got going on, Travel Weekly, uh, what is travel advisories, right? Um, there's all kinds of things in here that are hyperlinks that'll take you to those. Um, where were we at? Our resources. So uh, the qualify client checklist, client's travel needs checklist. This is where, who will be traveling, how many, when. This is theirs, a budget for the vacation, okay? and a review. Are they working with another agent? Does anyone qualify for, I don't ask any of those. Oh, that's like, okay, that's totally up to you. Um, we do have uh, a um, qualifying form section in our community as well. So again, there is that there for you to utilize if you want to. Our Australian agents, we do have a tab for that. So if we get somebody who has signed up through Australia, this is where we would direct them. Then of course, if you ever need contact us, here it is, you guys, all the things that you need to, to know, contact us here, okay? Um, you are having trouble with certain things, the Akimbo card, all kinds of different things. Cruise booking, you're gonna ask for Peggy. All right, for cruise stuff, all kinds of different things in here. Contact us at membership. All right, so again, this is your travel cafe. I hope um, you guys find that all useful. One other thing that we're gonna go out and do is we are gonna register with centrav.com. Centrav, I already have it, .com. See it there, you guys? Centrav.com. Okay. You're going to type that into your, um, into a browser. You're going to come here and sign up. Okay. You're going to sign up for this right now. This is a flight only. Everybody should have this. Flight only. This is all you. So you're gonna enter in all of your information on the top half. And then when it gets down here to the agency information, this is all on that piece of paper that I had you print out with the Archer information. So the Archer name, you don't have to, does not have an asterisk by it. You don't have to fill it in, okay? We don't have to fill in the time zone in the website. The uh, agency number is the IATA. Um, 
my agency address is the same as my personal? No, it's not. You're going to leave that unchecked. Your agency name is that Foothill Boulevard ad or address for La Crescenta for Archer. Okay, you guys should have that on that piece of paper. So that's everything that you need to put in here for Centrav. Um, once you get into Centrav, you know what, you guys, I really want you to do the, the training. Centrav Academy. Centrav Academy. This will explain everything. It's really simple. This explains everything that you need to know about Centrav and how it works for flights. This is a flight only vendor. Some of them you will find commissions. Some of them um, will have a markup fee area that your clients will not see on their credit card statement. Um, all of them will have an area, uh, the other ones of them, I should say, will have an area that uh, you can charge a service fee, but that will be visible on your client's credit card statement, all right? But you're going to learn all that through the academy. It's very, very short and easy. So that is centrav.com. Another one that you guys are going to utilize if you're going to have clients going um, to wherever Italy or wherever is going to be Europe Express. Oops, Europe Express. Okay, and we're going to click into that one, and you guys are going to register there. Registration. Um, and of course, I've already registered. You are registering as an agent or an advisor. You're not an agency and then just follow their prompts. Again, I'm not sure what they ask us for here. I am already registered. This is a great thing. You can email and they will put the package together for you um, or give you a quote for whatever it is that you're asking for. Europe Express, europeexpress.com. Again, this is not something that you need right now. But you may if you have clients that are going to want to visit uh, Europe, right? Um, about anything else, I'm not really sure. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find your travel trainer. Make sure that you are reaching out to your direct sponsor, your direct travel trainer. And then if you're not finding the answer there, you can message. Make sure that you are in this community asking your questions. Um, you're going to be... Uh, asking questions here in the general chat. Ask a question, just put it in here. We're going to answer you, right? There she has, there is somebody asking a question, okay? Um, and then again, you guys, here is where you can get to your back office right through your community, right through our community. So make sure that you guys are um, in this community uh, accessing everything that we have built here for you. All of these fun areas, these workshops, they're under workshops. The next thing you're going to do now is you're going to continue your new agent orientation. This is part two that you're just finishing. We're going to welcome you into the community. There is a navigating the Mighty Networks community. What this one tells you is to actually reach out to your travel trainer telling them that you're done with new agent part two, right? And send them a picture of you so that we can celebrate you. And that is a, a, a section in our community that we're going to make a flyer and say, hi, congratulations. We're so glad you're here. Um, next is navigating the Mighty Networks. And then if you wanted to do those steps to success, here is that Google form to get started on. And remember, this is not um, a, to do in one sitting. Make sure that you just, you know, check off things that you've done. There's things in here now that we just went through that you've done on this, okay? Um, so I want you to make sure that you have this form open on in a browser so that you can go and check off as you continue um, down through this workshop. Yes, there are very two more great videos for you to understand what do I do now, right? Here's what you do now. Um, another form that just helps us get to know you, okay? And then introduce your business. So um, after you're done with that, everything else is at your leisure. New Agent Resources 
is going to have, like I was talking about in, earlier in the video, here's our qualifying your client. Um, if you didn't understand the Akimbo card, here are the two videos. I talked about the authorization form and the commission tracking form. Very good training on VAX. And here is the Centrav. I did do a video on Centrav. Um, and then Evo Rewards, all kinds of great stuff. Oh, here's the just to the academy. I didn't do the video. Sorry. You'll have to do it yourself, all by yourself. Google Business, getting that going. Very, very important. That's what I use. I don't rely on that website that Archer has set up for us. That's just me. That's my personal um, feeling. I get a lot of my business through my Google business. Um, and I have a Google voice phone number. Okay. So I hope that is very, very helpful for you guys. Okay. Um, I can't wait to see your success. I know a lot of new agents have been booking out of the gate. So let's get you there as well. Thank you guys again, Becky Cohen, and I am your platinum leader and trainer. Enjoy.